Hello and welcome to the seventh in this series of training videos on measuring results in the public sector. I'm Mark Robinson and these videos are brought to you by the European Union. In this session, our focus is going to be on what's known as the public sector results chain. In the previous sessions, we have discussed the key concepts of inputs, activities, outputs and outcomes. The term results chain refers to the model which articulates the relationship between these concepts. And what it makes clear is that inputs are the raw materials that are used to carry out activities, work processes. In turn, groups of linked activities are what produces outputs which are the services that we deliver to our external clients. Outputs in turn generate outcomes. In the first instance, they generate intermediate outcomes, and these in turn contribute to higher level outcomes. So the results chain is a formal articulation of this. Results chain is also widely known as the logical framework. And the two terms are completely equivalent. Let's take a concrete example of the results chain in the case of agricultural extension services, which is the provision by agriculture ministries of technical advice to farmers. Well, it's the technical advice itself which is the output in this case, whether it's in the form of agriculture ministry technical officers going out and meeting with individual farmers to give them advice, or whether that advice is given in meetings to groups of farmers or in possibly in other forms. The inputs that are used in this process are, of course, the personnel, the equipment, including the cars that they, they use, the funds, the assets, and so on and so forth. The Activities refer to the work processes which are part of or which support the provision of this advice. They include things such as the organising of the logistics of the visits and meetings, the ongoing professional training of officers, the strategy planning behind the delivery of this advice, including decisions about what types of farmers to target and what forms of technical advice to focus on. Well, once we've delivered the output, namely the technical advice to farmers, then we expect to achieve outcomes. And the most immediate outcome is, of course, that farmers hopefully adopt better agricultural techniques, including, where appropriate, new crops. And as a consequence of achieving these intermediate outcomes, we hope to achieve the higher level outcomes of increased agricultural productivity and value added. Sometimes a slightly different version of the results chain is presented, one in which outputs lead to outcomes and outcomes then lead to impacts. Now, those who use this terminology have in mind by impacts part of what we are referring to as outcomes in these sessions. For many of them, what they have in mind by the term impacts is simply higher level outcomes. For others, the difference is a little bit different. They call longer term outcomes impacts and they use the term outcomes to refer to shorter term outcomes. Whatever the use of this terminology, there is no fundamental difference between this version of the results chain and that which we have used in these sessions. Well, that brings us to the end of this session in which our focus has been on the public sector results chain, also known as the logical framework. And as we've seen, this is a framework which links inputs, activities, outputs and outcomes. 